We are joined by Jillian Stevens from Hilton Head Distillery. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Tell us a little bit about the distillery. Yeah, so we are crafting uh, spirits right here on Hilton Head Island, which means we are making rum and also vodka up on the north end of the island. Um, we're a pretty new business. We opened in September, so it's been a lot of fun the past couple months, um, kind of perfecting our art and our craft. And uh, we uh, do tours and tastings Monday to Saturday. Uh, noon to 6 p.m. is our winter hours, and uh, that's through February. And um, it's a really fun business, and it's kind of a new thing to do on the island. Yeah, so the whole distillery thing, I mean, the craft breweries have been really big and mm -hmm. distilleries are starting to really get really popular. They are, yeah, and it's it's been kind of a more recent trend. Uh, craft beer started around the 80s, 90s, yeah. that kind of uptick, and uh, craft spirits has only been within the past, I would say, five or ten years. Yeah. Um, but now there's over, I want to say there's over, I think, 700 distilleries in the United States alone, so it's really getting up there. Yeah, and you picked a perfect place for it because it's always cocktail hour here. In, oh yeah, it's in always Hilton five o'clock in Hilton Head. <laughs> So when somebody shows up to the distillery to, to visit, what, what can they experience? What do they expect to experience? Sure. So uh, they'll come in and uh, they have two options. If they have the time for it, I would encourage everyone to take a tour. Uh, we basically kind of uh, begin the tour with a little presentation that tells you about the history of rum and uh, how we got started in the business. And then we take you throughout the production facility, show you how everything's made start to finish, which is really cool. It is and cool. And then, yeah, and then uh, we end with a tasting, and that's a full experience. You get to take your shot glass home with you as a little goodie. Nice. And then uh, if you don't have the time to do that, that takes about 40 to 45 minutes. If you don't have time for that, you're welcome to just pull up to the tasting bar, do a tasting flight, and have your experience be that. And so everyone is kind of thinking about shopping right now with the holiday season. You all have mm -hmm. some unique gifts. Yeah, we do. We have a lot of fun stuff. And, and I personally really tried to highlight a uh, local craftsmen in the area. So we feature a lot of different South Carolina uh, artists. Uh, we've got candle makers, soap makers, um, all this different kind of cool, unique stuff. Um, and some of the stuff even incorporates our rum. Like we're working with Hilton Head ice cream and they're making a oh, rum ice cream yum. for us. And it's awesome. Yum. And so people can even have events at the distillery. Yeah, they can. Um, absolutely. We can do a little after hours or even during business hours. Um, if it's a smaller party, I would say up to about 30 people. We've got a really awesome little viewing room in our uh, production facility so you can kind of have your table with food and then we can provide drinks as well with our rum. And you've got a great little view of the distillery in there. So it's a really cool setting. Now, is it a secret or can I ask how it's made? Like what, what is no. the process? Yeah, so it's, it's a little bit, it's a little a little bit like brewing with some added extra steps in there. Um, basically first what we do is we make what's called a distiller's beer and um, everything that we make is uh, uh, from a sugar base so we use kind of a granulated molasses dark brown sugar raw material and uh, add water in there, add yeast, let it ferment, let it turn into kind of a sour beer. It's about eight to 10% alcohol. And then we go through the distillation process, which is basically just heating that beer up. And we know that alcohol vaporizes at a lower temperature than water. So when you hit that sweet spot below the boiling point, but at the vaporizing point for alcohol, those vapors will lift off and they'll get separated. And that's how you get booze, essentially. Wow, yeah. is it condensation? It's, yeah, so it, it does vaporize and it turns into a gas and then we condense it back down into a liquid oh, wow. and separate it off into a different tank. So do you all have different flavors? Of we do, yeah. So we've got, uh, right now we've got mm. four different types of rum that we're doing. Uh, we've got a platinum white, which is just the base non-flavored. We've got a toasted coconut flavor, an espresso fl flavor, which is really popular, and then a spiced rum as well. Next year, we're going to be releasing some barrel-aged rums. Those just take a little while to age, and uh, in January, we are releasing our vodka. So I always think about cocktails as like vodka based, but mm -hmm. what are some really great rum cocktails, like with the coffee and stuff? So many great rum cocktails. Um, as far as like the, the platinum and the coconut goes, anything tropical that you can think of, ah. fruit juices, you know, your painkillers, your, uh, pina coladas, your mojitos, all that good stuff, great with our rum. Um, and then the espresso we've been experimenting with because that's a, that's a frequently asked question, you know, what do I mix this with? And it's honestly a great sipping rum. You can just sit there and sip it all day long. Or you can mix it with your kind of Kahlua cream style dessert -y kind of mixers. Delicious. Yeah. How can we find you and how do we get more information on Hilton Head Distillery? Absolutely. Um, definitely check out our website. It's just www.hiltonheaddistillery, all one word, dot com. And uh, check out our Facebook page. Again, Hilton Head Distillery, we've got Instagram as well. Uh, keep up to date with our, our social media because we're always posting new things that are going on. Yeah, well, Hilton Head Distillery, Jillian Stevens, it's always cocktail hour here in Hilton Head, Indeed. so cheers to you. And cheers. we'll be right back with more Talk of the Town.
Thanks.